is Alessandro Laviano. I am a doctor working at the University of La Sapienza in Rome, and I'm currently leading the ESPEN Educational and Clinical Practice Committee. And during the next three minutes, we will talk briefly about uh, how to enhance uh, chemotherapy efficacy by nutrition therapy. We have also to remember that during, despite decades of scientific effort, cancer remains one of the leading causes of morbidity and mortality all over the world. It is absolutely true that the response rate and the survival rate for many cancer patients has increased over the last 10 years, but this is mainly due to an early diagnosis, which allows uh, for eradicative therapies. Still now, patients uh, who are diagnosed with advanced disease have a short survival because of the poor and the suboptimal efficacy of anti-cancer treatment. So it is now important to devise maybe not new drugs to, bet, to get a better survival rate, to better response rate, but maybe you have to try to find some uh, new strategy to increase, to enhance the efficacy of anti-cancer therapy. And nutrition therapy actually may really fit the, gap, fit the gap that is already existing in the Department of Oncology worldwide. Why this? Because it is well known that weight loss, and particularly the loss of muscle mass, is associated with the increase in chemotherapy-associated toxicity. And therefore, by preventing or treating muscle loss during the treatment may reduce chemotherapy-associated toxicity and therefore increase the chances of patients to complete the treatment schedule. But there is also another very new hypothesis or maybe strategy by which nutrition therapy can improve the, therapy, uh, the effects of chemotherapy. Indeed, uh, cancer is not just uh, a bunch of cancer cells. It's a complex biological unity composed of cancer cells, inflammatory cells, and stromal cells. And it's now very well demonstrated that the more inflammatory cells are within the tumor burden, then the more aggressive is the tumor. So one strategy to reduce the aggressiveness and to improve the efficacy of anti-cancer therapies is really by reducing this microinflammatory environment in tumor cells. This can be achieved by a number of drugs, but also by using specific nutrients. For example, nutrients with a well-known ability to reduce inflammation, like omega-3 fatty acids. And there are now some evidence showing that by using these nutrients during active treatment, during chemotherapy, during radiotherapy, you may have a significant improvement on the enhancement of, of, the, of the response rate of these patients. So in the future, probably, it will be extremely good if we can complement drug therapy with nutrition therapy in order to enhance the efficacy and probably increase the expectations and the survival of cancer patients. Not, not always forgetting another important aspect, that nutrition is also extremely important for the quality of life of cancer patients. And that is now very well demonstrated that in cancer, for many cancer patients, quality of life is much more important than quantity of life. And therefore, by providing nutrition support to the patients, we can not only extend their survival, but more importantly, we can improve their quality of life.